Ladies and gentlemen, it is once again breakout time on December 7th, 2024. We will go back to Douglasville where we will have breakout 04, 05 Judgment Day. This is going to be the most heated card in breakout history. You can check it out in the link in the description below. But today we have a highly intense fight. We have Ant Mills, the lightweight champion of breakout boxing. Going up against Mr. JDP. Um, there's been a lot of push to get this man on breakout, and he is finally here. And of course, we are joined by the champ himself. Um, they are going to have a high stakes bout on Breakout 05 Judgment Day. Um, gentlemen, it is good to see you here today. Obviously, the fight was just made yesterday as of this recording. So, how are we feeling with these fresh thoughts? right after the fight has been made. I will ask that question to Ant Mills first because I know this is an unexpected change, but as usual, it seems like you are rolling with the punches and you are continuing to move forward, so I would like for you to talk about that. Um, said, honestly, it's like whatever. Like, I don't really care who, who I was going to fight. That seems pretty straightforward. JDP, um, there's been a lot of um talk and a lot of posts from your camp to get you on breakout, and now you are here to face Ant Mills. How sure. does it feel to be here on breakout today? And what are you expecting of this fight with Ant Mills? Um, fresh off the fight getting made. I mean, obviously, um, he's a one of the best in the scene, and he also holds the title. So this is a high stakes fight only one month out from um, the actual event. So tell us how you're feeling being here today. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Um, I think it's going to be a good fight, and I have to do a lot of weight cutting for this fight, but it is possible for me to make the weight, and I will be there December 7th, and we're going to put on a show, put on a performance, and honestly, it could be potentially fight of the night. That's good to hear. Honestly, you guys are both highly skilled competitors, but I'm going to ask this question over to Ant Mills. Um... Again, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but again, this is unexpected that we were here. You were training for a completely different opponent. So is there going to be any adjustments or anything that you're going to be able to do in camp so you, that you can be ready for JDP? He's a little bit of a different opponent when it comes to um, uh, Soul versus JDP. And obviously, um, he has a weight cut too, so that could influence the fight as well, so... Tell us how you're feeling about the fight at large and what you're going to do in training camp to make the adjustment um, only one month out um, from this event happening. Um, I just pretty much have to just prepare for, obviously, a tough fight. Um, he's going to – he's more aggressive than so, obviously. Um. Would I say he's more technical than so? I don't know. I obviously took the fight for a reason because I seen something. But yeah, it's just, it's just gonna be a tougher fight, and I'm ready for that. Um, it's a it's a big size difference, but I feel like when we square off, it's not gonna look too crazy. JDP, obviously, you were preparing for a fight on October 19th um, and unfortunately got canceled right. due to um, a natural disaster, which that's unfortunate. Yep. But it's good that you're here, that you're fighting. Um, what kind of adjustment are you going to make in training camp? I don't necessarily know who you're going to fight before, but what type of adjustments are you going to make um, to fight Ant Mills? Because regardless, Ant is going to be an extremely tough opponent. We see that in fights... He can either take his time or he could be on the front foot and aggressive. Um, he's very technical in all aspects. So that can be very challenging. But is there anything that you can do um, to counter that to be ready for December 7th in training camp? Um, to answer your question about if I'm doing anything different for this fight, I'm keeping basically everything the same. Everything that I'm really focused on is losing the weight that I need to lose to make the fight and to make that weight. But other than that, everything stays the same. That's interesting to hear. You know, you guys seem to you're preparing very well. Um, something that you, uh, you guys are also preparing for 
um, you are representing um, CQIF, um, and you are the breakout lightweight champion, but also you were one of the first breakout signees. You have represented the brand um, since its inception. Um, you are the very first fight on breakout ever. So this is a hardcore representation fight. We're going to see um, CQIF versus Breakout. I'm going to ask this question over to you first. Um, how does it feel to be representing Breakout going into this fight? And does that add any pressure to this at all? I know that sometimes, you know, it's, it's kind of redundant to ask you this because we've seen how you perform. But, you know, um, big pressure makes diamonds. And I'm going to be honest with you, you know, you're, again, being a breakout signee, that's got to be, you know, got to be a sense of pride that you're carrying into the fight. So tell us about that. Um, yeah, I, I guess, well, I wouldn't say pride, but I feel like I'm, I'm a holding like an image for breakout, you know, like I want to go in there. I want to show people who don't know what breakout is that there's people who can, who can box people who do take the sport serious. And, you know, I know he takes the sport serious. Uh, he can box. So I feel like I got a pretty good dance partner to, put that on display so it's cool to uh, represent breakout or whatever absolutely jdp how does it feel that you're uh representing the opposite side of the aisle with cqif um there's been a lot of fighters who have been very vocal um up against breakout so you're coming <laughs> into enemy territory um that could again add some extra pressure but are but you going to be able to mend that um uh, for December 7th. Uh, yeah, and it feels honestly good to represent CQIF. It's basically battle of the brands at this point. And same thing that uh, Ant said. Much respect to him and everything. He's he's a good fighter. He knows what he's doing. And glad to have a good dance partner in there. And we're, we're honestly just going to put on a performance. I believe that I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to win. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm going to knock him out because, honestly, it's not easy to knock someone out, right? So I just believe that I'm going to win. Honestly, I can't let it get to decision, though. That's the only thing. So I am going to try to get the stoppage. I will say that much. Well, that's interesting to hear. Um, obviously, uh, Ant is a well-known figure in the scene. Um, sometimes very well beloved by many, but sometimes seen as very controversial. How do you feel personally about this man going into the fight? And is there any added um, fire or beef or tension? This is the big Judgment Day card where a lot of these fiery beefs are happening. Or is this a more of a respectful bout? Maybe understanding that um, Ant talks to talk and walks to walk and maybe all the things he says he could be able to say because he's had a lot of experience in the ring. So tell us about how you're feeling about Ant Mills going into this fight. Oh, you're talking to me. I'm talking to Ant. Talking to you, yeah, um... absolutely. Um, going to this fight against Ant, I know it's going to be a challenge. I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to be easy. And yeah, I could say all day, everybody he's fall have been trash cans and his toughest opponent was probably Jose, but he has the skill. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to sit here and say what he doesn't. Way? So I think it's going to be a good fight and I'm really excited for it. That's all I have to say, honestly. And what do you have to say about JDP? Obviously he has not only said a lot about you, but a lot of breakout fighters and breakout as well. He's very vocal for his side of the camp. And obviously you are very vocal for breakout. Um, you went up against royalty in the buildup for sword seven. Um, obviously you have no problem voicing your opinion on how much you love the brand and uh, you know, how much you respect the people and you love your family over a breakout. So how do you feel about JDP going into the fight? Obviously, you know, he just said some things that you can respond to. So tell us your feelings about this man um, going into the fight. Um, honest, I don't have, I don't have any type of feeling towards him. Um, I do, I, I do respect him, obviously. Um, but you know, he does say what everybody else says. I only have easy fights. I, as you just said, my toughest opponent was Zay, I guess. And I don't know. I just feel like shit like that is just for, it's just for a reaction. Cause like, obviously if you do your homework, I've only fought like four cans, which is whatever, but no real feeling. I got respect towards him though. 
I won't fake no beef. Well, it seems like this is a bout of respect. And obviously, this is expected to be a potential fight of the night incoming. When you guys fight, you seem to bring a lot of front forward pressure. You guys seem to be very aggressive. So this is going to be a high stakes fight. I want to take a step aside from the fight to ask about maybe what's next. You know what I mean? Because obviously, you guys are big names in the scene. You know what I mean? And you have a lot of mileage as well. You have fought on, I believe, every single breakout event um, up until this point. Last time, you couldn't what you couldn't even just fight once. You had to fight twice and get involved in the very first tag team. So I'm going to ask you this first because there's been a lot of talk about your future in the scene. Um, how are you feeling um, about your future and and breakout? And what can you what can we expect of you um, after this fight and down the line? Um, when it comes to um, competing in the C note overall? Well, I want the Jays fight at 06 if I'm allowed to fight at 06 because I'm on every card. But if not, then uh, we'll go the DKM route or even push for CFL if I could get a decent matchup. But other than that, I'm not really too focused on what's after because I got to – I got a crazy fight in front of me. You know, he's coming down from 157. Um, he's got experience. He's in the gym. So, you know, I'm all my focus is on him. You now I got to do my homework. I got to keep studying his footage. Um, I do think on paper it's tough, but when you really look at who he fought, he hasn't fought a boxer yet. And, you know, you didn't look the best your last fight, but you look better than 90% of the scene. So I'll give you that. But I don't know. I'm focused. I'm confident. I feel like I'm going to pull this shit off. All right. Let's see. Let's see what happens on December 7th. Doesn't seem like confidence is missing per usual for Ant. And obviously, um, Ant is always welcome at breakout um, to fight because, you know, we like to give people these opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, um, JDP. Um, I know that you have this fight in front of you, and we have a couple more questions before we get out of here after this one. But um, what we, can we expect from you in the future? Because obviously you had a fight that was completely canceled uh, up until yesterday. You were waiting up until February to compete again. So yep. what can we expect from you after this fight, win hey, or lose? He was dying to get on this card. Yeah, I wanted, to, I, wanted to get to, on this card. I wanted to get a fight before the end of the year. I didn't want to leave it at one fight this year. So I'm actually happy that I'm fighting here on breakout. But um, I am focused, as, as Ann said, same thing. I am focused on Ann specifically, but I do want the fight against Jax Cole still. So that's the fight that I'm still looking forward to. Absolutely. Obviously, we have a couple of more questions before we get out of here. Um, you guys are very technical. You guys are very highly skilled. JDP, I'm going to ask this question over to you first. What do you think your strongest asset is? Going into this fight, you know what I mean? We know we have Ant has a lots of attributes. He's very highly skilled, speed, technical power. So what can we expect from you for your strongest asset going into this fight? What do you think you have over Ant um, going into this one for December 7th? I think I got more composure than him and more just like patience when I pick my shots and everything. And I'm just really like precise with everything that I do. Obviously, in the Garza fight didn't seem like it, but that was months ago. I'm a whole different fighter now. Everything has changed. So everybody's going to see all of the difference from the Garza fight on this fight. I'm excited to see it. I would, and I would have to disagree on uh, more patience and picking your shots. I feel like I over and over so that I have patience and I pick my shots and I'm a disciplined fighter. Uh, Garza, well, we have to go off of what your fights show, not off of what if. So we're going off the Garza fight, kind of just bulldozed him. And you know you could do that because you know you were better, which is respectable. So we haven't got to see what you claim you really are yet, you know? Yeah, everybody will find out December 7th. I don't think we're going to find out. You'll find out. Trust me. We're not going to find you out. You must be crazy if you think I'm going to let this fight go the distance. Everything that I've trained for, the Jazz Cole fight, everything has changed. And obviously that fight hasn't happened, and that's the fight I still want. But everything has changed. Defense, offense, everything. Just wait till December 7th.
Look, you can put all your eggs in one basket, but all the odds, all the odds are against me. But for me, I do this shit over and over again. It's the same shit, same talk, whatever, same build up. I'm still gonna finish you. Oh yeah, sure. Yep, that's the same thing Garza right. said, and look what happened. The difference is Garza wasn't a boxer. That's fine. Hey, he's still a man. He has the power to hurt me, just as you have the power to hurt me. And no, just as hey, I have the power Garza to hurt you, cool, so. you know, but. I don't think Garza got the power to hurt anybody. I mean, you'll find out when he when he knocks out Rob. I've seen the footage. He's definitely improved. So, well, yeah, he is gonna. I I do agree. He's gonna stop him, but that doesn't mean he has power. He's just fighting a bot. You'll see though. I just told you. I just told you why. I'll see. Anyways. And um, what do you think your strongest asset going into the fight is? Um, obviously, you believe that his strongest asset isn't really his strongest asset. So um, right. could you talk about what your strongest asset is um, going into this fight? Obviously, like I said, my discipline, um, my ability to remain composed, especially when I get hit with big shots. Um, you know, I, he, he's he's more, off of, off of his fights, he's more of a, um, like a boxer puncher, you know. He's on the front foot. But I'm just a, uh, I'm just a, the snappier, the quicker, the wittier boxer. So I'm going to be countering him all day. I'm going to be hitting him in between his punches. You know, he's going to try to bulldoze me because he's obviously naturally bigger than me. You know, why wouldn't he do that? I'm going I'm to put it. I'm going to put a full on chest mouth. I'm going to put this on display. Give him belt to ass. Well, obviously you are Mr. Belt to ass himself. So obviously that would be in the name. However, do we have any predictions going into this fight? And, um, you obviously have um, displayed in numerous times that you can go the distance with tough opponents. You can also stop uh, opponents early on in the rounds. So for JDSP specifically, what is your prediction? Um, I know you really haven't had a chance to really train yet or anything. I mean, you guys just got sleep after this fight just got made. So adjustments will be made. Things will happen between the fight and now. But predictions as of right now. Me, him, yeah, absolutely. Ooh. You, yeah. Uh, I'll say third round stoppage. Definitely, cardio is not going to be an issue at all. Absolutely, you are just coming off another fight as well, so that's another right. thing to take into account. JDP, what is your prediction going into this fight? I know there's been a lot said representing CQIF. You have a lot to prove. So, is there anything you want to say in your prediction? Um, I think it'll be a round two stoppage. Uh, the pressure, he's I know he's not going to be able to handle it. So once I get in there and I start working, he's not going to know what to do, and I'm going to stop him in the second round. Well, obviously, I think that Ant would want to have That's a response just insulting. to that. You call it insulting? He doesn't believe that. Oh, trust me, I believe He believes it. that? Tru he does oh, not believe me. that. You'll find out December 7th. That's all I gotta. That's all I got to say. It's not much to talk. Before really I ask my final question, what makes you think that JDP does not believe what he says? Because nothing could back up that theory at all. At all. Hmm. You go ahead. Keep going off of my last fight. You're going to find going, out No, everything. I'm going off of like all of my fights. Like I've never been in a predicament of me getting stopped. Yeah, but I'm Crazy. people that you fought. I'm not them. I fought. I fought way better people than you. You just don't know because right. you don't do enough homework, which is understandable. You don't have to, but I'm letting you know I fought way better people than you. Now we'll find out. No, we've already found out. Like I can no. go down the list right now. I don't care about that list. I'm not fighting but them. We can go fighting down you, it. So. They're they're all better than you. Yeah, sure. I'll be every single one of them. You, you wouldn't. I would though. You wouldn't. Unfortunately. I know that's not what yeah, you want to hear, but it wouldn't. Listen, is there any final words you guys want to say? I mean, I know you guys are talking to each other. Maybe you guys had your final words just now. But is there anything you want to say to each other before we get out of here? Because this meeting is about to expire, and this fight is about to go down on December 7th. So anything that you guys want to say? Honestly, there's there isn't much to say. We're going to find out on December 7th. That's it. It looks like all. Oh, you want to say anything? 
You got anything? No, nah, no. Nah, no, no, no. You're shaking your head, so I just wanted to, you know. On December 7th, it seems like the talk is going to be over, and it seems like all the talk will be done in the ring. December 7th, breakout 05, Judgment Day, Ant Mills, the champion, the lightweight champion, versus JDP. You can tune in live for free December 7th. If you want to join us, go down in the event bright for tickets below. Douglasville Boxing Gym, you do not want to miss it. We will see you all at the fights.